Hello guys and welcome back to my DVD collection. This part will be part four. So we now we have part four of my DVD collection. So uh, the first half of this video will most likely just be all DC and uh, Marvel and comic book uh, graphic novel movies. So uh, let's start with Marvel, shall we? So the first Marvel movie I have here is Blade Trinity, which is this is the two disc version. It has the uh, has the extended version so basically basically it's two mo it's two it's the same movie but twice so you have the disc one is extended and disc two for features what it is but remember like you can actually when you uh, play it you can actually decide you want to watch the non-extended version and the extended version so far i've only watched the non-extended version so later on i'll get rather watching the uh, extended version uh, i definitely think the uh Blade 1 and 2 is definitely a lot better than Blade Trinity. Uh, I do have Blade 1 and 2 there somewhere in my DVD collection. Uh, and so, next thing I've got in the Marvel lineup is another Blade, and that's the Hulk Complete uh, Blade TV series. Uh, no thoughts on this, but, uh, well, actually, there is one thought on this, so I thought there's no early snipes. So, meh. Nah. But I can't really say cause much, really, because I haven't watched it, and, uh, also, what's up with Blade's tattoos? If it is meant to continue from the movie, why did Blade... Why has Blade got different tattoos? And what happened to his hair? Should have that bloke could have worn a wig or something. There's the Blade. Next we have uh, Fantastic Four Rise of the Silver Server. I got this movie on a standard uh, non-two-disc version, but this is a two-disc version. Yeah, some most of my Marvel movies and DC movies, uh, I'm trying to see if I can get the two-discs, one-discs, and director's cuts. So we have a lecture. This is the uh, standard lecture. Yep, standard lecture. It's not a lot I can say about a lecture, really. But I have I have seen a lecture. So now we have Daredevil uh, three times, and I'll tell you why I got three times. One is the uh, standard standard lecture. I mean, I mean uh, Daredevil standard in the blue. Uh, next is the stand. No, no, no. Next is the uh, two disc. Next is the two disc special edition with two discs as it's a two disc special edition. And uh, we have Daredevil again, but we have the director's cut of Daredevil. Then we have. Do we have uh, some, some Marvel cartoons? We have uh, Spider Man and the Amazing Friends episode 7 to 8 of season 1. Got them, I think I got that from the uh, the pound shop. Or one of the pound shop. One of the pound shop that's no longer around anymore. Or, no, 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 it's the other one because the one I got from is around still. I'm thinking the other one I went. So we have X-Men, X-Men, uh, this is volume 1, no, season 1, and it's 5 and 6, and then I have some more X-Men with the TV, with the, then we have uh, season 3, season 3 volume 2, which is episode uh, 8 to 13. And uh, then we have season three, volume four, which is twenty five, no, oh, twenty to twenty five. Then, then next we have uh, X Men. We have uh, X Men: Days of Future Past, the road cut, which is kind of like an extended version of the movie, because in the original uh, movie they cut out all the scenes of Rogan and they added them to this. So if you've never seen the. Uh, uh, well, I mean, if you have seen Days of Future Past and you you don't know about this movie, then uh, get the uh, Rogue Cut version. So there you go, is the well, yeah, you know what I mean. So get this one if you get this if you haven't seen it, and if you've only seen the normal version, I haven't seen the Rogue Cut yet. I've only seen the normal. So, uh, but well, I saw the movie quite a while back now. That was like a couple years ago, and. Not an excellent movie, uh, excellent movie here. X Men Apocalypse. I haven't seen Apocalypse. Uh, I haven't seen Apocalypse. We have Ant Man. 
well, Marvel's Ant-Man, which uh, I haven't got this far in the Marvel Cinematic Universe yet, because I'm a bit behind on the Marvel Cinematic Universe. I should be up to four. The Dark World, if I remember rightly, because I've seen uh, the Hulk, I've seen uh, Iron Man, I've seen Iron Man Two, I've seen Avengers, I've seen f well, I've seen four, I've seen uh, Avengers, I think Captain America, yeah, and there you are. But I'm up, I'm up to where uh, four the Dark World should take place. We have the uh, the uh, extended cut of uh, Ghost Rider. I think I've already got this on DVD. Somewhere, but I'm not really sure if the one I got on DVD somewhere is the standard version or what. Because I think the one I got on DVD somewhere is the standard version. If I have got it twice, I'll end up selling one of them. Then we have Ghost Rider Spirit of Vengeance. Uh, never seen Spirit of Vengeance. But I did like the first movie. But I'm not sure. Wait, wait, we have another. Here we have another. Uh, before we get to the title, this one. So I, so as I said, I, I've only seen the first Ghost Rider. Enjoyed the first Ghost Rider because of Nicolas Cage, and I like Nicolas Cage. But I've heard the second one is just it's good, but not as good as the first one. And and uh, well, most sequels are not as good as the first one, really, are they? Well, there's a few sequels that I can say that are brilliant, better than the first one. But I don't know. I can't really say much. Let's end the conversation and go to the next movie. I mean, next DVD. Here we have. Another animated TV uh, cartoon of, uh, of uh, Captain America vs. Captain America episode 1 to 3. DVD 1 it says there. Now we have uh, two movies, two, two movies in the box set kind of. With, uh, which is, which is uh, there. It's uh, the Punisher, the second Punisher movie. Because there's, there's a first one that I haven't got with Dolph, Dolph Lundgren in it. And... Uh, we have Once Upon a Time in Mexico. The only one I've seen on this is The Punisher. Just haven't seen the Once Upon a Time in Mexico yet. And there's The Punisher. There's Once Upon a Time in Mexico. Uh, I have no idea why these two are put, put together. I directed by the same person or something. Can, if anyone knows why they're together, uh, please let me know down in the comments. Sorry, if you hear any weird noises, it's just he's outside again. There's one of Punisher Mexico and uh, Punisher, I mean, and here's the uh, Punisher Warzone, which is a Punisher movie I haven't seen yet. Uh, I did, I don't, I have heard that this one is more violent than the more violent than how it should be. Really, this is not how it should be, but 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 they still got to put Punisher in Marvel Cinematic Marvel Cinematic Universe, aren't they? Which, I, which I'm not sure about that one. So here we have some non non. Right, next we have some non Marvel uh, DC. If if uh, any of them are DC or Marvel, let me know because I think one might be. I'm just not sure. We have Kickass Two. Never seen Kickass Two. I've only seen Kickass. First one. Uh, this movie's got uh, one of my favourites in. Uh, Jim Carrey, but uh, Jim Carrey would later on go to say he uh, regretted being in his movie because uh, these days he uh, hates violence. So uh, he he would say he regret these days. He, I, I, he would regret. He, he regretted taking his role. I think a lot of them did actually. But what what can you say? I really like the first one. But just hope that's as good as the first one. Uh, we have three hundred. Very good movie, enjoy the movie. Uh, watch the movie again. This is Sparta! Uh, watch the movie over and over again, most likely. Like. And uh, something, something you may not know is when I was playing Fallout uh, 4, I named my character Leonidas Butler, which is basically Leonidas, uh, the character, and the actor. So I, I combined the names together to make me own, make my character in Fallout 4, named Austin. Uh, the actor and the character he played. So here we have a uh, sequel to that movie. We have uh, 300 uh, Rise of an Empire. I heard Rise of an Empire's pants. But what can I say about that? 
This is why I'm not sure if it comes under Marvel or DC, I'm not 100% sure. It may be neither, it may be his own graphic novel. But we have Constant... Constantinus? Constant, Constantine? Which is, uh... Which I, 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 I played the demo to the video game and I thought that video game was, uh, okay. I w would, wouldn't mind probably trying out the full video game on PS2. And there's that movie. So the ne next one we have some Hellboy ones. We have, we have, I have both Hellboy movies, but I have like, as you can see, I have like different versions. So we have Hellboy, which is the, uh, which is the uh, standard version of Hellboy. It's got like the, it's got the uh, two discs. You know, it doesn't say two disc edition. It just says it just says Hellboy. So I wouldn't know. I don't think there is a two disc edition. There's always a one disc edition. I don't think there is 